Hello everyone, it's me. It's Monday. Well, it's not Monday now, is it? It is 1am on Tuesday. Hannah was supposed to be here today, but as you might have noticed, we're all a bit busy at the moment. So here I am. Ro, I really liked your video. It's, it's always nice to bring up the Sage story again, because when dramatic, scary things happen in your life, you sort of just bury them down and forget about them. And that's, I'm, I mean, I'm glad we're at a point where we can all laugh about that now. And we've still got the sage, so... I have been gone for a little bit, I think a month again, right? I've only missed one video. What have I been doing? For Beachy's birthday, she really likes Taskmaster, which is a panel show? I'm assuming you guys have them. Like a game show, but not for the public, for comedians, right? And they have a task and a little envelope thing. And then they have to do it, but it's vague enough that you kind of have to think outside the box. And with lots of different people doing it, they all do weird and wonderful versions of the task to complete something weird. An example off the top of my head, I saw one where they had to get a ball in a golf course hole, but they weren't allowed to touch the ball. So one of them got a spade and dug the grass around the ball and picked up the grass and then dropped it in, stuff like that. And so Lawrence's idea was to make that for Beachy. And it went really, really well. It was really weird. It was funny, but largely because we are idiots. There was a task where we had to get an egg from one little shot glass thingy into another shot glass without touching the egg or the shot glasses. And there were loads of tools on the table to do that with. Shane picked up, one of them was like a pliers and he picked it up, picked up the holder with it and dropped the egg in. And he took 11 seconds. I, <laughs> I, Sellotaped some chopsticks to the coffee table, used a juggling ball to push the egg along. I balanced it on tape at one point. I sellotaped a banana to use as a backboard behind the other shot glass, and then I picked up the table and slid it along. Broke an egg, had to use a second one, and completed the task in like nine minutes. <laughs> so that's what I've been up to. I also worked on a little short film that a friend of mine was the first AD for, and I was a runner, and I filmed some behind the scenes stuff, which was really fun. They're submitting it to a festival, so I think I can't really talk about it, but it was a cute little film. It's got some sci-fi aspects, but it's also gay. The two best things for a film to be. <laughs> and obviously it was just really fun to be doing a filmy type work thing again. So that was lovely. Film all the behind the scenes stuff was fun as well because it was just me doing that. So I got to like take control and set it all up myself and that was nice. So I'm gonna have a go at editing that over the next week. Um, while I was on that shoot, I was stood in the garden. There was a little bug and the bug was probably like, like a third of the size of an ant. Like it was really small. I'm gonna draw it actually, because I just, to go into this story, I really want you to have an accurate representation of the size of the bug. Okay, so I would estimate that it was like this big, okay? A really teeny tiny bug. I had my little legs, they were exposed, not like that, that's a sock. They were exposed and we were still in the garden and it landed just here. And I felt a bit of pain because it had bitten me. And I was like, oh, oh, get that off there. Within about 10 seconds, it landed here on this leg, but because it had just bitten me on my other leg, I was got it off quicker. I remember thinking at the time, God, that's that's quite a lot. It, well, it wasn't like super painful. Like it wasn't a really sharp pain. It was just like being poked with a pin. But I was like, for a bug that small, that's quite painful. And I didn't know the people around me. So like I made a comment about it, but I didn't want to make a big deal of it. But I was just like, so am I right about that? Um, I moved on with my life and throughout the day, I, d I remembered it and I could feel that there was a little bit of pain there, but I didn't really acknowledge it because I was busy. I get home and this ankle was a little bit swollen. So like, say here's, here's the bite. And then it was just a little bit, a little bit puffy here. And I was like, that's not good. I took a picture of it because I could see where this was going. And the next day it went from being a little bit swollen to like, I couldn't fit my foot in my shoe. There was a second 12 hour shoot the next day. So I was on my feet all day which was an error, but I ended up calling the doctors while I was on the shoot and then I had to email them some pictures of my foot and they prescribed me some antibiotics because British doctors love prescribing antibiotics for everything. By the end of the day, I managed to get medication for it, but like, right guys, my ankle was so large. Like in the space of 24 hours, it literally doubled in size and that's recovered now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my feet out. So here's your warning. It's not gruesome, especially not now. 
Uh, but if you're weird about any swelling stuff, maybe don't look at this. This is it now. Today, it has just returned to normal size. It was so big in real life, and none of the videos did it justice. It's, cre <laughs> it's created a dimple. Look at that. Like, I, I couldn't walk for two days. Because my ankles, they're like, they're quite scrawny, as you can see. This is the other one. I had to crawl to the toilet. I woke up the next day. And it took me about 10 minutes to go to the toilet and back. And I was crying in pain. Like, it was so painful from the smallest bug in the world. I think it was a Blandford fly, which are new to the UK because global warming. So, you know, I feel pretty hip. I feel modern. I'm one of the first people to get bitten by this thing. But I'm also just sort of in disbelief. Like, I had plans to do things. But the first day, I just had to stay in bed all day because I was in so much pain from the tiny tiny bug. So did Taskmaster, did a little film shoot, and then got attacked by a vicious animal. Most of the people who work on the film also work on a show that is starting back up soon. And so I'm kind of hoping that I might be able to also do that, but I'm not getting my hopes up too high. I also, in this time, I applied for like an editing trainee scheme thing. So the aim of it was that like you would shadow some top dog big ass editors and you'd learn from them and be their apprentice and stuff and i applied for that and the application took me about 12 solid hours because i'm not good at things and then i didn't get it so i'm holding out hope that this one works out because i was like i wasn't i wasn't confident but i spent so long on it and i did a little video and everything and i, I let myself get to the stage where i was like maybe they will want me Maybe I should look at where I'd stay if I got it, you know? Error. Don't do that. But then if I had got it, I would have been sleeping on the streets of London. So, you know, I mean, not everything has gone perfectly, but lockdown means we're not working. Money is about to stop coming in. But using all that extra time to do video stuff and apply for jobs means that I am sort of heading in a direction of filmy things, which has kind of happened without me noticing. So I did want to just sort of make a mental note of it because as I told you guys at the start of the year, that is something that I'd like to do. And so I'm pleased that that one little short film is something that happened. It was fun. So we still technically have our little schedule here and that is something that we will return to eventually. But Hannah is busy. I've been busy. And yeah, I guess at this point, just sort of wait to see random updates of our lives, which is exciting. We're keeping you on the edge of your seats, <laughs> I, I imagine. One thing that I did want to do, which I thought would be cute, is to just keep this as what it was intended to be, like a little documentation of our year, but also keeping us all in contact in a nice way. So I'm gonna start by asking two things that would be nice to find out from people, just to share some little stories. And if anybody fancies making a video on that, I think that would be lovely. Number one, please tell me about one of your favorite places in the world. You can take that however you like, whether it's a room or the fridge, or your favourite country. And number two, something that I thought would be really wholesome and lovely in these dark, dark times, please share with me a nice memory that you have with someone else on this channel. Not all of us have met everyone, but we've all met at least two people. And I'll do mine next time because, I mean, I've shown you my feet, so how much more content can I really provide? Thank you, everyone. I hope that in your lives, Matt, Morgan, Hannah, Ro, I mean, I could, Ro's just up in a room, so hope all is well. I hope to see your lovely faces soon. It'll be nice to see you here or where, where, wherever. Thanks. Bye.